everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shine. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, we're going to be reacting to the seventh episode of Andor Announcement. So, last time, guys, we were left on such a big episode. It was fantastic. Mid-season episode. So good. Loved it. Everybody loved it, which was nice to see. Some good positivity from the Star Wars community for once. Good job, guys. <laughs> but actually, last week's episode was so good. Again, like I keep saying, it was black. It wasn't black and white. It was so good. We had all these different like morals coming to play. We had just all these different concepts coming in, and it was just fantastic all around. And the heist, pacing, writing, everything was just fabulous. So now we are jumping into this next episode. Um, as I can see from the summary, it is saying that we are returning to the home for Cassian, so I was, <laughs> I went back and rewatched the first episode, first three episodes, sorry, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if we're gonna come back. My question answered immediately. Um, but also just like, hmm, how's that gonna actually work out? Because uh, because he left a large mess when he left, so who knows? And also we're going to see a lot more of Coruscant this episode, which I'm very excited. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions, more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I am desperate for approval. Ooh, damn, this mom, I swear. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's getting flashbacks to Cassian. Ooh, look at them, they're on a mission. They've got plans. That's true though. Literally it's just shot like the beginning. Has anyone ever made a weapon? Rosary dies. She's terrified. Choking us so slowly we're starting not to notice. Oh, another good line. <laughs> That's the plan. A mixture of people will suffer from this. But what is rebellion without sacrifice? Rebel murderer running free because of corruption and laxity of the corporate authority. Uh oh. I was punished for trying to uphold the law. Do my job and maintain public. Opportunity. Yeah, he's gonna lose this opportunity because he opened his mouth. Why don't we start that process now? Probably best for everyone to just edit this a bit before signing you in. I'm, ah. sure I'm, I'm surprised they did that, but also they're probably needing people. He's probably not happy about that though, because they don't agree with what he believes in. Oh, she's so cool. I love her outfit. Can someone like style that for me? I want to. <laughs> I want something like that. For which star system? All star systems. <laughs> Dude, giving him too much work to do. <laughs> Cinta! Yeah, I kept calling her Cintra last episode, my bad. But she's- she's alive! She's well! <gasps> Where is he? What?! I Val?! Damn! What she's- She looks great! <laughs> you mean kill him? This is what revolution looks like. No! Don't kill him! Is that Cassian? Oh. So sweet. I've got enough credits to get us anywhere. Oh, Cassian. I can make it happen. It's all gonna be different now, Mom. Oh! Oh, you precious boy, Cassian. Oh, I want to give him a hug. No she doesn't want to leave. Oh. <gasps> Party! Oh my god, wait! Why? <laughs> it jumps from such an emotional scene to this. It's just like... Wait, give me a second to breathe, director, please, because, oh god, the emotion <laughs> is high. But look at Mon Mothma. Yes, girl, step on me. I'm joking. <laughs> but she's gorgeous. I mean, look at her. Ah! Hello, sir. Mon Mothma, please be careful. Oh, the husband's watching her like a hawk. She's good. She plays the game well. Thinks I'm an irritation. There's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. Where are you? Oh, the line. Or perhaps 
helps you find my politics a bit stronger. <laughs> yes, Cleet! Go away! Go away, douchebag! I guess you thought you and I were back together. Oh, so they were together previously! We were doing a deal, you yeah. scam. You borrow, you lie, you disappear. Your crazy boyfriend tries to get me killed, and I'm the villain. You need to get as far away from here as you can. It's two way street. You won't have to worry about me anymore. Oh, Cassian. 12,000 credits. It's everything I owe. But 12 should cover it. Oh! <laughs> Why am I crying for that? My god! <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> I don't know why, I think it's something that Diego Luna does that makes me <laughs> cry at the stupidest things. Um, I don't know, I think... Uh, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional, maybe it's just been a long day. I don't know, guys. <laughs> but, I don't know, there's something about that that just i think it's just because this is before the rebellion and everything this is like i think he doesn't realize like how big of a step it is of what he did at eldani and then coming back and just doing this and he's but he got the money and he could have done he could have been very selfish and just been like you know what i'm gonna go find a beach planet and stay there for the rest of my life and find a wife have kids, la 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 but no <laughs> he decided to come back to marva ma and then to Bix, I know that, like, obviously we all saw the chemistry. There is very intense chemistry between these two. Um, and obviously it was confirmed that they have been in a relationship previously. But, oh, um, I don't know. I just, I, something about it that I guess with Cassian is just so beautiful because he lost his sister, lost his parents. Like, who knows if he remembers his original parents. Um, and then like coming back to this and then you know i don't know <laughs> it's just yeah i i love this show Stay here. Right, guys, oh my god the rebellion what <laughs> where i take the long way around so i don't have to think about clem hanging there Oh, was that the guy from the parade? Gero is brave enough to take on a whole imperial garrison. Was that him? As a kid? Nothing you can do about that. I've never loved anything. Oh, the hurt. Stop searching for your sister. It's a fantasy. There are no survivors on Canary. What happened there was not your responsibility. You were a child. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> in terms of analysis, this is the fight and calls as described in the ISB code of conduct are being violated by Supervisor Miro, and that this overreach for which she was previously reprimanded. Oh, God, he's been watching her. I used the Imperial Emergency Act in the wake of Aldani to gather data across multiple sectors without official sanction, but that is the wrong question. As organizing principles, not personal playthings, do you really think the rebels care about the lines we draw on maps? You think the relevance of my work has been supplied? <laughs> Such passion. I love it. Places, please. There is a focus. Oh, he's actually interested! This is hard, verifiable data you are prepared to present. Yes, sir. Yes! I don't know why I'm going for a you know. documented file ready to go. I believe his accusations here this morning have more to do with self-preservation than any sense of urgency. What's more urgent than renegade intelligence? Queen! assigning the Molana sector to Supervisor Mira. Ferix is of great interest to her <laughs> and has clearly become a distraction for you. Oh, burn! <laughs> yes, girl, soak that shit up! Yes! <laughs> why am I going for the villain? I... I love it. <laughs> yes! I actually am so happy for her. Hell yes. Watch your back. Oh, He knows how good she is, but he- yeah, she's gotta be careful. <sighs> that was so good. What the hell is this? This is so different. <laughs> oh, damn, scandalous. What's going on here? Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! What the? <laughs> what? Why did that? Sh Why did that shock me so much? <laughs> I can't. What is wrong with?
it's me. I think I'm tired and just... (laughs) I'm fine. Just shirtless Diego Luna making me shoot out from my chair. Oh my god. Don't play dumb. No, I'm on my way to the store. You need to back up. Stand right there. Oh no, please don't. Why would I be running? Because you're a part of it. What? I'll ask the questions. This reminds me <clears throat> a lot about real life as well. I'm a tourist. Six years. Six years. But he didn't actually do anything though. Cassian, my god. <laughs> Hello, Cyril, we meet again. <clears throat> oh god, that must be so boring. Oof. Uh, uh, that sort of reminds me of my office job a bit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Benjamin Coward, thank you, Stephen Schiff, as well. Really good. That was absolutely amazing. Really loved it. I think that. That was, I like that these episodes, like, every once in a while, they're just an all-round and we get to see what's happening in every sort of area of the story. So, let's start off with the Coruscant stuff. So, Mon Mothma and Luther, we obviously see them, Luthen, I, I keep calling him Luther, but we see him at the beginning, that was really good. Um, Luthen, I, again, I have mixed feelings about it because even someone had a really good point on the internet. It's like, he's the one who brought together this group to go ahead and do this at this base, and yet he gets, not the credit, but he gets to feel the rewards and reap the rewards of that without having anything to do with it. And it's like, mm, you're a little bit of an ass. Like, I would punch you if I met you as well. <laughs> but um, again, going back to Mon Mothma and Tay. Dude, I, I feel like there is very close chemistry with those two, which I like. It's very interesting. And compare it with the husband as well. Um, But I like how she... I'm sort of worried because I'm like, is he part of the Imperial like side? Which I don't want because I want him to be like nice and good to Mon Mothma. But um, hopefully, if it is, like, it turns out to him to be evil. And not evil, sorry. But he turns out to be on that side. It's going to be an interesting lesson for Mon Mothma. And like, who can she actually trust so we'll see what happens there going to Cyril we're jumping a little bit differently but (laughs) Cyril has like the short end of the stick which I feel bad for him but at the same time it's like hmm this is like I guess that's the sort of family he comes from and that's sort of what he wants to do he wants to prove himself but then he's also got a really mean mother like oh that reminds me of some people I know in my life but also just like yeah he's not in the right he's not pushing himself far enough or finding the right thing to do with himself because you can tell he's very much dedicated to the Imperials and he's like wanting to prove himself but he can't because it's like you know, like he tried, like he was talking about how he's trying to defend the people that he worked with and f- following the law, and that guy didn't even give a shit. He was like, "Okay, fine, we'll just scrub it from the record." And his face was just like, "Wait, what the? F- like, what do you mean? Like, I don't think he wants to scrub from the record because he wants it to be proof that he was trying to stand up for his fellow man and do the right thing." But people don't really care about that, so it's not a big deal. So that's interesting, but also I hope we do get a little bit more time with him because I feel like we're getting not a lot, which is fine. But at the same time, it's like I do want to see a bit more push it a bit more and see him actually crack and be like no I want this this is what I'm going for screw everybody else quickly to Val and to that other girl the the helper to Luthen I don't know her name I need to actually check that out but Val looked gorgeous like completely different from what I ever thought I was just like wait is that her and then got the close-up and it was her and it's like Okay, so you're from Coruscant, or you're pretending to be from Coruscant, you look amazing. And then we saw Cinta, which is nice, hopefully she does get out. Oh my god, the whole Cassian story though, oh, like, that's screwed me. Because like, I, I again, like, I, I spoke about this a little bit last week, but I feel like this story is bringing out a lot of the human parts of what war is, and even just human like more humanity in these characters than I think a lot of other characters have or just in 
I don't know, there's something about it that's a little bit different from the rest of the shows, or even any other show that I've seen as of late, which is why I think I got so emotional. I'm not sure why, but just, there was, so, like, the part with him talking to his mum, just being like, I got us money to get us out, I'm gonna help us get get out of this situation, then going to Bix and, you know, obviously apologising to her, but then the hurt he felt from her rejecting him, and also saying, like, this was your fault, la la la, like, not like that, but you know what I mean. Again, they didn't see the growth he went through and they thought that he was the same as before. Him borrowing, taking and just leaving whenever he wanted and expecting to be welcomed with open arms. And then he comes back and it's just like, yeah, I, this is the money that I owe you. Let's end it at that. Even though he was offering to take her as well. It was just like, end of story. So it just shows how much he changed in a few days. And he was willing to pay, again, the money back. Like I said, he couldn't, he, he didn't need to do that. But he did that. And then he went back to Marva, found out that she didn't want to go. And he was absolutely heartbroken. And it was just, oh. And also that moment where she's like, give up on looking for your sister. Because it's like, yes, but also like... You know, like, when you have that sort of goal, it's like, you, when someone tells you to give up, it's like, oh my god. Like, you, it feels like you're getting punched in the gut. And, yeah, it's heartbreaking. With, <laughs> with, the, with that whole beach scene, I can't remember the planet now, that really screwed me. Because I was just like, wait, um, hold on. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, are we gonna see like someone like familiar or something and then boom shower scene just like wow, okay <laughs> But also it just shows like I think like in this life He also just doesn't seem happy like you know Like obviously he had the girl in the bed and all that stuff like obviously he's having a great time But then you can see that I think there's more to it like he's thinking in the back of his mind like about Marva and maybe Bix as well um and I think that's just, he's not enjoying it as much as he thought he would. Oh, also I forgot, Deidre, my queen. Like, I'm not supposed to be going for her, but goddamn, she deserved that. Because I think it's just, I'm not sure if it's just a girl thing and stuff, but the, like in the workforce, ladies will agree with me on this, that it's, we, I would just say it, we work just as hard as even, or double the amount of work just to be recognized. And I was going to say it as well, she's in a room full of men and it is hard to stand out when there are other men doing better than you because it's just like laser focused on them. And then you have this woman and even just other women in the business just who stand out and they try but they don't get picked up on it. It's just like, oh, okay. And even that guy, her boss, was just like, yes. He knew it, even in the first few episodes, and that's why he warned her. Otherwise, he wouldn't have, because he wouldn't have given a shit, but he actually knew that she had potential. I, I really like her story, even though, <laughs> again, I'm not supposed to be going for her, but I am excited to see more of her story. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this uh, episode of Andor, the announcement, episode seven. Um, yeah, again, it was fantastic. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was different, to say the least, but at the same time, it was great because it was a good addition, especially climbing down from the episode that we had last week. This was a great, like, next episode and just, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!